we have to say about the cardinal directions. So cardinal directions do you have our four directions. What are they? North, south, east and west. East you have where the sun rises and in the west you know the sun sets. So these are the things that you have to remember. Before going into the globe, we have to see about the topic latitudes. Latitudes are nothing but the imaginary horizontal lines that is being drawn on the globe. So these are your latitudes. So your largest latitude is your equator which is at the center point. You have five major latitudes. What are they? The center point you have the center line is your equator. Above the center line towards the north part you have the Tropic of Cancer and above to the northern pole you have the Arctic Circle. And from the uh, equator you have the another uh, towards the south you have the other latitude which is called as the Tropic of Capricorn and towards the south pole you have the Antarctic Circle. And when you see to the equator, you, the equator divides the globe into two equal hemispheres. Towards from the zero degree towards your north pole 90, uh, north pole 90 degree gives you the northern hemisphere and from the equator to your southern pole 90 degree gives you the southern hemisphere. Next is your longitude. Longitude are nothing but your vertical lines which are called as your longitudes. It passes from your north pole to your south pole. These are known as your vertical lines which are known as your longitudes. So from your north pole 90 degree to your south pole lies your what prime meridian which is otherwise called as your Greenwich meridian. Greenwich meridian is nothing but the line passing through the city of Greenwich which, which, uh, from which the name has been arrived which is called as a Greenwich meridian. From the next you have the uh, east hemisphere and the west hemisphere. From the prime meridian from 0 degree to 180 degree east it moves that is called as your eastern hemisphere and from 0 degree west towards your western side if it moves it is your western hemisphere. Next opposite to the uh, 0 degree prime meridian you have your international day time. So the prime meridian or the long, uh, longitude is used to determine the timing. Next you have the international day time which is in this zigzag manner. If you see into the globe you can find an international day time which gives you the uh, uh, find out the date. So why it is in a zigzag manner? If it is in a straight line it, look, it helps to find out the accurate date of a particular country. If not, if it is in a straight line it confuses the both the person uh, lying in the same country. 